<laughs> Page 105, March of the Marionettes. It's got its 16th notes in it. Isn't that wonderful? Yay! Two four times. So we're going to go one e and a two e and a one e and a two e and a for the counting, or at least I'm going to. Use whatever method you want. It's all in the right hand. The left hand just has the accompanying chords, so just watch the chords. And hopefully there won't be anything about them to get you until you get down to the third line. Then the left hand's got 16th notes too. And the right hand gets the chords. Yay! But at the beginning, the right hand. One e and a two e and a. One e and a two e and a. Forget the articulation and all that. Let's just get the rhythm first. Just take these things in steps. One e and a two e and a. 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 The problem is when you do that first measure, then you want to speed up the quarter notes, and you can't. You got to watch out for that. And that's really the rhythm pretty much through it, throughout the whole thing, until you get to the last line. Let's look at the last line. It starts on the last measure of the fourth line down. You're here in the right hand. On two, you're two E and a. It goes into the last line. One E and a, left hand. Two E and a, one E and a. Bring the right hand down. Two E. And then the left hand, it's written here. But it's got an 8 VA under it. That means you go down an octave. It's here. That. Now, let's go back and do the articulation. We got staccatos. Right hand at the beginning. One E and a two. Just get a nice light finger staccato is fine. If you want to do a light wrist staccato, it's okay because you got to do wrist in the other hand. And it's easier to do the same type of staccato in both hands, really it is. It's all staccato except the 16th notes, it looks like. And this fun, those quarter notes seem awfully slow. Well, if you take it up, it says all of marcia at the top for the tempo. That means like a march. One, two, left, right, left. Uh. Left. So, I mean, that, the 16 notes would fly. The problem with it is that no matter how fast you take them, they have to be controlled and they have to be even. You don't just blah. It's not a roll. Like, the, don't. Just don't. The, the, control them. However fast you can do that and control it. In both hands, going up and coming down. However fast you do it, that's your speed. And that will determine then how fast the quarter notes go. So if you can only go... That's a quarter note. One E and a two E and a. Like so. Then the second measure is one E and a two E and a. That's your quarter note. So, so you have to be careful. In the play with me part, we're going to take it really slow. And that's pretty much it. You get back and forth and, you know, bring out the melody wherever. And the first couple of lines is the right hand. And then the next two couple of lines it's the left hand. And then at the bottom, the last line, it's both hands. Dynamics, you do the dynamics. We have first and second endings, you can do those. Right? We're simply going to play the first line twice, then we're going to play the second line twice, and then we're going to finish it off. So let's try it. I'm going to give us four counts, four quarter notes, but again, I'm going to put the metronome on eighth notes, slow eighth notes. So G major, all F's are sharp, and we're in G position to start. Not going to stay there, but we're going to start here. One and two and ready and go we and down. And two and three and four and one and two. Repeat. One e and a two e and a three e and a four. And a one, the end, a two, 
and uh, the and uh, to the and uh, and uh, and uh, to the e repeat on the and uh, to the and uh, to the and uh, Yeah. Uh -huh. 